differences between District 1.0 and 2.0 as relates to the control flow of our code. So I'm going to use the same Python in both cases, but the way that we write it will look a little bit different depending on whether we're using 1.0 1 or 2.0. So we'll start on the left with prefix 1.0. We have this flow, which is basically generating a list of random numbers. And then we're going to find out how long that list is and whether the length is odd or not. And so we have a task that's going to return that. And then we have two tasks, which we want to run or not, depending on this result. So we also have a filter which is the way that we're going to take our list of random numbers and then return only the even ones. So, and that, that's going to be the length that we're going to use to decide downstream. So we generate our list of random numbers. We filter them for only the even ones using this filter task. And then if the length of this list of even numbers is odd, then we will run this task, but only with this case being true. So this is the syntax that we use in Proof of 1.0, this with case context manager situation where everything inside of the with block will be executed if this expression matches. Similarly, if the length of this list is not odd, then we will go into this block and we will execute this task. So we can verify that first of all, that we are running Prefect 1 here just to make sure. Yep. 1.2.4. And then we can run our code. And we can see that in this particular case, our list of even numbers had a length that was even. So it went into this block or sorry, it went into this block because is odd is false. And we saw we're even, which we see down here. And if I were to run it again, it could be one or the other. Oh, it's even again. Now it's odd. So it's just random. So let's look at how this would change if we were going to write this in 2.0. So first of all. If we look at the top, you'll notice that we don't have an import for a filter task because we can just use the Python filter. Uh, we also don't need a case import because we could just use an if block. So all of our tasks are the same here. So let's just look at the flow definition, which you'll notice is not a context manager, but instead just a regular function definition. And we can we generate our list of random numbers the same way, but now we can define our filter or we can filter out our even numbers just using strictly Python. We just use the regular Python keyword, which takes a callable and an iterable to apply to. And then we cast this to a list to receive the literal list of even numbers from this list of random numbers. And then we can just call our is odd task once again, and we can just use regular Python and say, if is odd because we can interact with this result directly in the flow definition, unlike prefix 1.0. We can say if odd, then run this conditional task, and otherwise run this other conditional task. So you'll notice that this definition is a little less confusing. There's a little less random things like this with case block, and it's just generally easier to write our code if we're familiar with Python. And let's go ahead and run this. We'll see that on this side, my terminal is using 2.0 B10. And let us run the code. We're going to run the 2.0 version this time. And we'll see that it runs exactly the same way. 